is so loud that I'm worried you won't even be able to hear me. But it's almost 9 a.m. on a Saturday. It is raining, as you can tell. I have decided that I'm gonna figure out the ending of this first book if it is the last thing I do. I've been doing so much world building and planning and I'm getting so much clearer on the rest of the story and things are starting to slide into place that now the only thing really that I need to do in order to finish this draft and then like the details can come after is I need to get the ending figured out. So I have a bit of a plan. It involves one little activity where I'm basically going to sit down and write out three different ways that the ending could end. I'm also going to sit down and make a list of the things that I don't want to change about the ending and things that I want to make sure I'm including, so things that I'm not really willing to give up. And then if both of those things don't really get me anywhere, I'm gonna sit and kind of just free write and brain dump for half an hour or so, figure out where the problems are, why I'm still struggling, and kind of just try to work through it that way. But that's gonna be a last resort. I'm gonna try and do a structured approach. I'm gonna try and just figure out the ideas and yeah, that's the goal for today. Get this ending figured out. setup of this camera is very like interrogation and I apologize for that. <laughs> so I decided that I was going to do some transcribing which I haven't done in a long time. Um, I just used the app called Otter AI. You ba it basically you just talk into it and it will record like a word document for you or a text document of some sort. Um, which is great, especially if you're trying to sort through thoughts without like forgetting what you've said and also without having to re-listen to like a voice note or something. So yeah, I've been trying to figure out this whole ending situation. I have concluded that endings are the bane of my existence. I, <laughs> and to be fair, like in the past, I haven't been the best at endings, I guess, as in they change. I never rewrite the same ending, I feel like. I always come up with something new. And considering how many endings Between the Waves has had, I am realizing how much of a problem it is for me. In any case, I decided that I was going to transcribe. I was going to walk around, pace in the backyard, and I was kind of just going to like talk myself through issues that I was having, talk myself through parts that were giving me writer's block, parts that I couldn't quite figure out in the story. Often I'll do like a brain dump and I'll just write out a bunch of stuff or I'll journal it out, but that just hasn't been working lately. I felt like I needed to speak it out loud. Um, so figured transcribing was the way to go. I did an hour and 11 minutes of transcribing, which brought me to another lesson of the day. Uh, and that is that if you have the free version of the Otter app, you're actually only allowed to transcribe 30 minutes, but it won't stop you. Like it, it won't stop you at 30 minutes. It'll let you keep going. So I transcribed, I talked for an hour and 11 minutes, and then I was trying to like export the transcription and it was telling me that actually I can't do that unless I upgrade because I can only get 30 minutes without the upgrade, like in the free version 
which was so annoying because I literally paid for the month. So I ended up paying $20 just so that I could get the other half of all of these notes that I have had been talking out. But honestly, I don't regret it because I, I figured out so many things, a bunch of big world building things, a bunch of like magic system things got figured out. Also, I think the beginning's gonna change again. This thing keeps happening where I'm like shifting where the story starts. And it's kind of funny because like how the story actually starts hasn't changed all that much. Pretty much the same events are still happening, but I keep shifting where the story itself starts. So like before it started way after a certain event and then I switched it so that it started like before that event and I actually wrote that event. And there's just been a lot of like shifting of the start line and like what exactly the status quo is, but the transcribing genuinely helped so much. And I think, let me see how many words I have. I have put it into my document now. Um, I'm, I know, I have a good idea of what I did figure out. I'm not gonna go through it until tomorrow morning because it's midnight and I'm getting ready for bed and I shouldn't even be looking at my screen right now. So I started trying to like sort through what I needed to change and where I was getting stuck. So first I typed up 1,220 words. So 1,220 words. Um, of just brain dump basically and then from this otter app um, from the transcription 7,911 words so what is that 7,900 plus like the 12 1200 it's like 9,000 words a little over 9,000 words today um, just just sorting through what the ending is going to look like and to be fair, if you've ever transcribed, then you have a good idea and you know that um, most of those words are, I'm not keeping those words for anything. I just, that was just the blabbing and half of those words are filler words or me being like, okay, um, uh, oh, shoot, like now what? I don't know. Like a bunch of it is words like that, but it's still just kind of wild that it's nearly 10,000 words. Well, it's like just over 9,000 words of me trying to figure out what the hell is going on in this book. I'm at this point in the process that I think all artists and writers get to, and that is the point where everything feels overwhelming and chaotic and like a goddamn mess, but you, you know that you're at a point where you just need to trust the process and you just need to have faith that if you keep pushing and you keep sorting through the mess and you keep just like diving headfirst into the muck that is, you know, a new manuscript, you just have to trust that you will get to the other side and that it will all be worth it. And I don't know, I always see little glimpses of that while I'm working through the manuscript. So I know it's coming, but it, um, this is the point where you need to have a lot of blind faith. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not being very present for my nighttime routine right now, um, which I would like to be. So I'm gonna do my breath work and listen to some music, free this moth that is flying around my room. And then I'm gonna check in with you all tomorrow.
thundering out there. I love a good rainy day. I especially love a good rainy weekend when I get a ton of writing done because that has not happened in a very long time. This weekend has really been a reminder of how important consistency is for me and not necessarily consistency on one project, although I think that also helps, but like also consistency on just writing in general. Um, I think that the more often I write, the more comfortable I feel, the easier it is for me to kind of like slip into a flow state. And then there's another level of it where like Between the Waves, for example, the more often I work on Between the Waves, the easier it is for me to work on it because I'm familiar with it and I remember things that are going on and I'm just like deeper into the story and I think that my lack of working on it over the past few months has had really affected um the it had really made it difficult for me to actually get into the story and figure out what the hell was supposed to be going on but I would like to report that I have updates that I'm very excited about after going through the transcript from last night the one that was like an hour and 11 minutes long so much i've just like sorted through so much and a lot of that i'm not even going to use but it was it was like i needed to talk through it and i did get there i <laughs> the beginning is going to change slightly again I, this needs to be the last time that i do that though i've already decided that after this draft i'll probably do like one read through or so some minor tweaks and then i'm going to get beta readers as far as developmental stuff goes because i just like i can't keep changing things just because I get anxious or I start to question myself or like the um, imposter syndrome kicks in or I start thinking that my writing isn't good enough. I can't keep doing that. I need external input, I think at this point. So, so yeah, I figured out pretty much the entire ending. I know how it needs to end and I know what needs to be happening by the end of the book. I figured out more of the lore of the world and a lot more motivations as far as like different characters go that I was pretty unclear on. I also got the kind of the inciting incident. It might change, but as of right now, I have an inciting incident and a midpoint and some extra little points and a list of things that I need to tie off for book two. So those are like major plot points and details for book two that I had yet to like get those ideas. And I think that's also why I was struggling a bit with book one was because I don't really know where the greater arc is going to finish. Like I have a very general idea, but there's nothing solid. And this weekend I got something solid. I've like given myself a bunch more work for this draft, but I think that it's gonna make it so much better. And of course that is always the goal. And I have the ending and I'm feeling good. And I think I can make this a really, really strong duology. Like I'm feeling really good about it already. And this is before I get beta reader feedback. And I know when I've gotten beta reader feedback before in the past, it's so helpful. So I just like, I can't wait to see it grow and evolve and just get better. And I'm just so excited to share it, honestly. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because it was actually a very productive um, weekend of writing. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling overwhelmed still because I just know how much work there is to do, but I have renewed hope and excitement in the story. And I just know that the story is gonna be so worth it. So I want to do that work, you know, and that's a really good feeling to have, especially when I just haven't been feeling that very much over the past few months, but it is, it's just really reassuring to see that as I work on that and make space for my creativity and just like put more trust in myself and the things that I want to put out into the world, I feel like I'm starting to see changes. Yeah, it's been a long winter, but it's spring, nearly summer now, and kind of does feel like I'm emerging from a bunch of growth. And I'm so determined, like so determined I'm just so excited for this story to be out there. So yeah, thank you all for being here. <laughs> thank you all for watching this video. Um, please like the video if you enjoyed it um, and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more. There's lots coming um, for the rest of this year that I'm really excited about. So stick around if you're interested. So yeah, thank you all for being here. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to smile and I will see you in the next one. Bye.